Yeah, we do a 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, Mtu. How does it feel to be to do Shabalala right now in your life? It's quite exciting. And I believe something that I've always been I've, I've been dreaming about since I was a kid. And to play my first derby is something that I've always dreamed about it since I was young, going to the stadium and going to watch all these players Abu Itu and Hippie So something I've always been looking up for. What is it? Chablin. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. And, but, but, but for you, what memories do you have about this derby? Maybe Sakum Bunam Tambuguti, which was the derby that you first uh, got to watch, maybe, and how old were you uh, at that time? And Sakum but it, I think it was 2019 or 2020, where Chiefs, Chiefs was leading one nil, and Timbingosi Lodge got a pass from Open Mutuari, and he. And that day I was in the stadium. That was my first time. You would need to turn to me because you don't need to visit me. And to play the teams comes with pleasure. And with you, it does not only for playing with kids, it's also a senior Mushavalana. It was a Shavalana before who was a kid, the chief legend, and now it is you. Uh, do you feel that pleasure? And uh, how far are you willing to go representing the kid, the chief's badge? First, I will start by Mr. Name. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, we all know the Shawalas are talented. <laughs> all talented. Yeah. But going back to your question, uh, it comes with a lot of pressure. Yeah. Always, uh, always have to give your best when you go into that field. Always to, and you know, playing for Kaiser Chiefs comes with results. Yeah. Always have to provide them results and do your best in every game. And in, in, in this space, I think. I think I still have a long way to go, yeah. and uh, I'm willing, and I'm still learning, and I'm going to do a lot of things for this uh, team. Do you sound like you, you grew up supporting Pirate, <laughs> speaking about Lodge and APGL. <coughs> How is it now that you find yourself at the other side of, of Soweto? True, true, I was supporting Orlando Pirates. Everyone at home is supporting Orlando Pirates. But now, since I've joined Kizer I have to change and support Kizer Chief. <laughs> <laughs> and I will die as a Kizer Chiefs fan, <laughs> even though I will still be a Kizer Chiefs fan. And at home, uh, have you influenced them as well? Old lady, now my sister, Nintuan, I party time. And full next. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. I'm a little bit of a song here. And she sees me. And then, oh, and then I tell you. I'm interested in the uh, exposure that you had when you went uh, to Europe uh, last year. What did it do in terms of your confidence, especially uh, coming back uh, to play for the city? It was a good experience. I've learned a lot in Belgium and in Spain. Things are done in different ways. You see, even when they play, that uh, things are done in, 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 in a different way. And we still have a lot to do as I'm a player in South Africa. Just have to to stay focused and stay grounded. Those people are far, far ahead of us. Is, is there a space you would like to go there to quickly maybe? Yes, yes, of course. And I think if I can go there now, I can grow fast and my football can, can really grow fast. Do you think working under coach Arthur this season has improved your game um, over the past 12 months? Obviously, I've been coached by coach Arthur since I was I was 18. When, when, when I joined Kaiser Chiefs, he was the first coach to promote me to the MTC, so I know him very well and I know what he wants from me. So it's not that difficult for me. And you could see with the way I'm playing, I adjusted very well and I'm enjoying myself. And to that previous Pirates uh, game in the Cutting Tech Table Cup, you played well coming on as a substitute. And uh, after that game, knowing that you've played against Pirates going into the Saturday, do you think that it has um, less in uh, maybe the pressure that you are feeling that uh, you know them, you played them, them before and you can still take them on, on to Saturday? Be, to be quite honest, it's going to be a different game. Mm. That game was, was all about fun and, and giving the people what they want. But this one is all about the results. And 
and winning because you know we are in we, we are in a space where we need to get the three points. So it's going to it's not going to be easy. I can tell you now. And I know maybe sometimes people can think I won't do those mistakes, but in that game I think I will do some mistakes. And as you know, it's my first derby. I will have to to fight and dig deeper in order for me to do it. You spoke. You spoke about uh, the importance of saying you are no longer in Joanna, Mauritania. How important is that mentality to see yourself equal as any other player? It helps you to fight in the game and almost be real pants and to to always give your best. Don't limit yourself because you can see now what's happening in football. Look at your patrons. So when Uzo Uzo to Indoan and Silni, when Abu Petri they are playing World Cup and Abu Mbappe they won World Cup when they were 19. So when Uzo to Indoan and Silni, so you always have to give your best and fight for the position now quickly. Sometimes the coaches at the lower level don't get recognition of you guys. So I always see, I don't know, uh, Coach Fisa. Um, can you tell us more about him and the role he played um, in your career? To be honest, Coach Fisa played a a big role in my life. He's the one who took me to kill the cheese. And he's the one. Firstly, we started going to, to, to trial for Orlando Pirates. But I, it didn't work out. I told him that it's easy day in Orlando Pirates. I want to, to go to kill the cheese. And in kill the cheese, they made it difficult for me. I trialed for about three to four months in a trial. And I told him that's what I want in football. I want a challenge. And it happened that I got the challenge and I was promoted to the reserve team. I only played three games in the GDL with the, with the under-17. Then I went to the national team with the under-17. I won the play of the tournament. I got myself a trip to Spain. Then after then, I started. I came back and I played for, for the reserve team. And I only played for one season in the reserve team. If not, I didn't finish the season because I played about 14 games, yeah, or 10 or 14 games. After that, I got promoted. So you started uh, at Paris? Yeah, I started at training at Paris, but I could see that uh, this is not my level. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and what won it? Why was Kela Shields for you a better platform than Paris? There was a tournament that was playing in Randbeck. It was a GDL Cup. The time I was playing for Leneja Soccer Academy, we were coached by Coach Fisu. We were sitting outside watching Kelly Chiefs versus Parrot. And I could see Coach Diso's players, how they played and how they exerted themselves. They were enjoying football, they were passing, they were dribbling. It's something that I wanted. And the minute I went to Kelly Chiefs, I got to feel that I'm here, I'm playing football, and I'm going to make it here. Thank you, Joseph.